I used an AI app and it did unspeakable things to my hands. Don't say I didn't warn you. Now, if you want to know what this app is and how much I paid for these with my own money, uh, have a look at an article that I'm going to link up. Sign up for my newsletter and you can read the article right away. It's not even a download. It's completely free. It's not a scam or anything like that. HelenAvery.substack.com. It'll be worth it, I promise. I'm actually using an AI filter right now on my face and I look much better than I normally do and my hands look normal, but check this out. The first thing that I did was make a portrait of me, which I actually thought was quite nice. Looks pretty much like me, just way better. And then this is the point where things went truly horribly wrong. In fairness, I uploaded only selfies, so there were no actual photos on my hands that it could go for. So this AI app decided to draw some for me and it is a horror show. Here's this sort of dreamlike fantasy avatar, but let's have a little closer look at the hands, shall we? What the fudge is this? It looks like a hand grew out of my head. It is so disturbing. Moving on, I like the way that my hair looks in this one. It's pretty accurate sort of representation of my hair wave pattern, but let's have a look at the hands. Why do I have so many fingers and why are they so curly? We don't know. Another very romantic photo. You know, one of my eyes looks like it's closing from a pollen allergy, but we can look past that. Let's have a look at the hands. What is this and why do I have a third arm? Unclear. In this one, it gave me a really snatch figure a la Scarlett Johansson, which, you know, I appreciate. Um, but like, let's have a closer look at the hands. Can someone please burn the cones and rods in my eyes? Because this was so disturbing and I felt like I wanted to barf in a bag after I looked at this. So I looked into it and you can read more in the article that I will link up in all the places you find links. But the bottom line is that AI still really struggles to generate um, hands and feet with any sort of realism, as you can see, <laughs> whatsoever. They're still horror shows at this point. You would think, though, that the company that made this, again, listed in the article, would have maybe uh, shied away maybe from representing hands. Like, why not just make portraits, right? That it, they can do that adequately well. Um, but once they get into the hand territory, it seems kind of like scary. And the other shame here is that my hands are actually quite nice. I mean, it could have been maybe like a hand model, not like a Harry Winston, like Diamond Solitaire hand model, but maybe like a budget vacuum cleaner hand model. Maybe there's still time. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it.